33-year-old former home health care aide Melanie Liverpool gets 20 years to life in prison. She admits she killed 49-year-old Connie Watton, who she did not know, by pushing her in front of a number one train at the Times Square 42nd Street subway station on November 7, 2016. At the sentencing, she did not speak, in stark contrast to her arraignment in February 2017, where she rolled her eyes and denied everything. What? Her eventual change of heart and guilty plea spared Watton's family a trial and came with the agreement that she'll likely be freed when she's in her 50s, something that caused Watton's loved ones to bristle. Here is the victim's first husband, Mark Corman. Nothing to say that she wouldn't go and prey on another innocent person. This is Robert Watton, who was her husband at the time of the shocking killing. He asked we not record his victim impact statement, where he described Connie as thoughtful and generous, working as a housekeeper and cook for a New York family, sending money home to her family in her native Philippines. In the courtroom, Robert Watton said he is forever haunted by what happened to his wife here. And then he had some choice words for her killer. He called her a demented piece of garbage, then addressed her with, you are heartless and you have no soul. She did not make eye contact with him. Her attorney, Aaron Wallenstein, tried to get the judge to hand down a lighter sentence, citing a tough childhood. She had falsely confessed to another subway pushing that was ruled a suicide, sent to Bellevue Hospital for psychiatric treatment, and released five days before the push that killed Watton. She's certainly remorseful for her actions. In giving Liverpool the maximum sentence he could, the judge noted this tragedy as, quote, the quintessential urban nightmare in lower Manhattan. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.